this is the FinTank family. Ohana. What a dub we put up against those lions, huh? So today I'm here to talk about the Dolphins versus the Bears. Tua Tagovailoa taking on Justin Fields in the Chicago Bears defense. Who is without Roquan Smith and Robert Quinn. Okay, let's get right into this. So, Tua Tagovailoa is leading the league in a lot of quarterback stats. And yet, everyone's just not sold on his health and this and that. What I witnessed from Tua Tagovailoa in this Dolphins versus Lions game is that the man has learned how to protect himself. I can comfortably feel like now he'll be riding this season out. The league will have to get used to Tua Tagovailoa. <laughs> and it's crazy because it's like the dude has done nothing but win since he's been in. You know, granted he had a learning curve. Granted he got injured. Granted, he's still building NFL toughness and still learning the NFL game. And he's okay with that. But yet, he's still performing amazing. So, that tells me that everyone around him, including himself, believes that he has not hit his ceiling yet. And to know that he hasn't hit his ceiling yet, it just lets me know eventually. Although he has a reputation of, oh, not having the strongest arm in the league? How is it that he's leading the league in the longest passes? Baffles me. Whether they're underthrown or not, the man is winning, he's breaking stats, he's putting up numbers, and I so fully believe that he's our franchise quarterback. And with that being said, so does the front office. Bradley Chubb joined the Miami Dolphins yesterday, along with Jeff Wilson. So they're clearly putting tools around to win this year. I'm excited to see what Jeff Wilson does and add to this backfield. With it being lacking that physical presence that I see he runs with, that's going to be interesting. And, that hat, and to add Bradley Chubb, alongside with Jalen Phillips and or uh, Ogba, which I honestly believe they should probably move Ogba to the inside with Sealer. That'd be scary. Or uh, Christian Wilkins and, like, rotate them out during run and pass situations. But Emmanuel Ogba on pass situation on the inside with Melvin Ingram, Jalen Phillips... Bradley Chubb, that's that's kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited to see what this defense um, does Sunday against the Bears, especially Bradley Chubb. Like, I so fully believe now that we have another piece added to that line. It is going to free up so much space for Jalen Phillips. So, Jalen Phillips, this is is important as them building around Tua as it is them building around you on defense. And I solely believe that. I solely believe, believe that they're building with this young core of Javon Holland and Jalen Phillips, who they took pretty high in the draft last season. So I'm going to get to the running backs of this game, which will be Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson for the Miami Dolphins, and David Montgomery for the um, Chicago Bears. And, of course, you got to add Justin Fields to that, which historically has been proven that the Miami Dolphins struggle with mobile quarterbacks. Adding Bradley Chuck to that mix is just going to be nuts. And I see our run game having a big day for the fact that the Bears traded away two of their biggest run stoppers in Raquan Smith and Robert Quinn. 
So that's going to hurt their defense drastically, but they got picks from that. So I see that they're also looking to build around Justin Fields. So I'm looking to see how Justin Fields improve or don't improve in this past game because that's going to be tested this game. Like, we're going to take that run away. So this is going to be a game where the Miami Dolphins pass rush and secondary is going to have to step up because the Dolphins are not too bad in the run defense. Although they gave up a few big plays early in the season, they've really tightened things up on that um, run defense. So I'm excited to see them contain and, you know, control the game from that aspect. My score prediction is the Dolphins 34, the Chicago Bears walking home in their hometown with the L. Now, the latest rumor about the Miami Dolphins is now everyone's not so sure if they can play in cold weather. <laughs> They're not so sure that they can go in the Buffalo. They're not so sure they can go in the Green Bay and Kansas City. Well, to me, this Sunday would be a good little test of that. It won't be prime time. It'll be 1 o'clock. But at the same time, it's going to be in that cold weather in Chicago. You know, so interested to see how they adjust to the weather issue that everyone's now addressing. It's always something from the beginning of the season, from the moment. But, you know, no one wants to sit here and state the fact that Tua should be in the run for MVP because when he's in this lineup, when he's on the field, the Miami Dolphins win on games where we've started and finished. With Tua Tagovailoa as our starter, we're 5 0. We're undefeated. The only three games we've lost this season was the one where he went out in the half in the beginning of the second quarter of the Bengals game, and the two he missed during the concussion protocol. That tells you this dude is a most valuable player to this team. You have people in our fan base talking about starting a third stream quarterback in Skylar Thompson, which is he's, he's he has potential. I, I like what I've seen from him. But Skylar put up those numbers and made his name in the preseason against second stream starters, third stream starters, and people fighting for spots on the team. There wasn't no real competition in the preseason. So, for everybody who believes in Skyler, just sit back, watch Tua do his thing, and let Skyler learn from Tua. Oh, what is he going to learn from Tua? Accuracy. Exactly what a guy with a big arm like Skyler Thompson need to learn to be a part of this offense. Because it's not. It can take your top off. But that's just the threat we have. The basis of this offense in the past game is accuracy. Most of two of of Tugavaloa passes are the most accurate that you will see from a quarterback in this league. So, yeah, Tyreek Hill was right. And with that being said, I was right. From believing in Tua, believing in Noah and his defense, and believing in the Miami Dolphins. This has been the FinTank. Like I said, my score prediction is 34-17. Miami coming out on top with this win.